Hi YouTube, uh, I'm gonna do a quick test of my latest acquisition, uh, which is a um, PV Valve King, uh, 50 watt, 112 combo. That's my, uh, that's the crazy internet interacting with the electronics of the PV here. <laughs> um, 50 watt, 112, um, two channel, uh, foot switchable, channels are foot switchable, uh, clean channel is a non master volume channel, just uh, one volume. I wish it had a preamp volume, but it doesn't, uh, two inputs, uh, looks like a high gain input, low gain input. This is a little mellower if you plug into that. Um, I got to plug it into high gain. Bright switch, channel select. Uh, I have the bright off. Obviously, self-explanatory brightens up the uh, tone of the channel. Channel select is uh, just the manual button push between the channels. And you've got three band EQ on the clean. Uh, the clean channel is very, very bass heavy. So I backed off on the bass on that. I just play a little clean on this, this uh, sound clip. Um, and please excuse the uh, really bad string buzz. There's a little part where my string buzz is my bottom e, uh, low E string bottomed out. <laughs> um, and then you've got your lead channel, uh, which this does have preamp gain. I've got it on seven, which is, this thing has gobs of gain. Uh, you can do anything with this amp. Put a, an EQ through the loop and you can do whatever you want to do. Hardcore, metal, old school, whatever you want to do. You can do it all. Or you can just scoop your mids on here and do whatever you want. Uh, it's got a, a gain boost, which uh, boosts the gain noticeably. Uh, volume boost, which um, I don't notice a big uh, volume boost on that. I don't have, that's not the original pedal I've got with it. So I don't know if the pedal that you buy for these comes with a volume boost, but it doesn't seem to do a heck of a lot. I've got it pushed in. So it has a little, makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, master volume and another three band EQ. Uh, this is not, the lead channel doesn't seem to be as uh, bass heavy. So I've got them um, almost about the same, a little, little more bass than the middle and the uh, I've got my reverb turned off and I'm using the effects loop. The only effect I used on this sound clip is uh, the F uh, TC Electronic Flashback. And it's, it's uh, interesting to note that um, th when you plug your effects loop in, it does have an effect on the tone. It seems to kind of brighten it up a little more. Um, got a standby switch and a main power switch. I am not using the stock speaker. Well, it's not. This is not a stock speaker. When I purchased this, whoever the previous owner put in uh, an Eminence Patriot Texas Heat, which I just don't care for. It just doesn't do it for me. Um, two, I believe, EL or six L6s. And I think there's uh, three 12 AX7s in there. I think it's a solid state rectifier. Um, I just didn't like the sound of this amp through this, through its own speaker in, 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 in this cabinet. I'm putting it through my VHT 112. Enormous difference. Uh, the key to these amps, I had the 100 watt Valve King head um, that I used. It sounded a lot different. Uh, obviously these are tube amps, so um, tube amps are very inconsistent sounding. You can have a bad tube, different tube, and it'll completely taint, change the nature and the um, the characteristics of the amp. So keep that in mind when, if you have a tube amp, you buy something like this. Um, different tubes can totally change the tone of the amp. This amp, I think, sounds really good. I really like it. Um, the key to this amp, if you don't like your sound that's coming out of it, back here, these two little doohickeys. Um, this is a uh, an A A B uh, switch here. I keep it about in the middle. I like it. Um, it has to do with the uh, circuitry and the wattage, how it's distributed uh, through the amp. Um, type A to A B. I just like it right in the middle. Um, and then there is a resonance switch. Out is. It's supposed to have a tighter sound. Uh, the speaker doesn't move as much. I like the resonance um, activated. It gives the speaker more movement and more more low end. 
it sounds a little better, sounds a little thin, I think, on the, on the tight setting. Um, so you can see how I got it hooked up, and uh, I'll play a little for you.